Okay. How's it going, guys? Connor's here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Empyrean Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we uh, got on the first route. Oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, we went on our first route, caught a couple encounters, lost our first Mon, which was Da Vinci the Smeargle. I already had, went ahead and put him in the PC. And uh, yeah, so I went ahead, got everybody healed up, and I figured out the word I was looking for, Delta Species. So I don't know if these are supposed to be like Delta Mons, where there are different typings of Mons, basically. Just Mons with different typings. Or if there's supposed to be Alolan. I don't know, Alolan or Delta, I guess. It's kind of the same thing, just different typings on Pokemon. You know, Pokemon with typings that aren't usually theirs. So I don't know if they're Delta Mons, Alolan Mons, or whatever. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're gonna go back in this cave because we're supposed to be getting an encounter in this area, if we can even. I don't know if we can get an encounter in the lower cave. We got our encounter in Icy Cave, which was a Swinub. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. What is this? This is Upper Cave. So no more, we're no longer in the lower cave. We are now in the Upper Cave. Can we get an encounter in the Upper Cave? There's another dead guy down there. Oh, we can, okay. So our Upper Cave encounter is an Aeron. Nice, something that's not weak to ice, because that was our problem last episode is that we had uh, mons, all our mons are weak to ice. That's how we ended up losing our Smeargle. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and catch this thing, our upper cave encounter. Hey, our Quick Claw let us move first, nice. So don't kill it, nice, I'll take that. So let's go ahead and catch, shit, I forgot, I forgot to, uh, when I went to go heal, I was meant to go buy some more Pokeballs to see if I could. Please don't freak out. Thank you, I only have two Pokeballs left and a Love Ball. But I want to save that love ball for somebody very special. <laughs> a very special encounter. So here we go. We have Aeron, the Iron Armor Pokemon. Alright. Um, what am I going to name you? It's an Iron Armor Pokemon. I don't know. If he turns into an Aggron, he'll be big, so I'll name him Big Boy. Not the greatest of nickname nicknaming Pokemon, if you can't already tell. Alright, so what's the importance of this area? Oh, there's an item up there. That seems pretty important. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't get a Zubat. I would have loved something else that was weak to ice. At least Aeron's not weak to it. I don't know if rock or steel is, does anything against it. Alright. I just wanted to leave. <laughs> I got my encounter. And a Sandshrew. Again, something weak to ice, so glad we got the Aeron. Or Aaron, however you want to pronounce it. Aeron, Aaron. A Noibat. Again, weak to ice. <laughs> Would I'm glad I didn't get any of that shit that would just boosted our ice weakness. Used to be a very steep ledge on Route 101, but looks like they removed it. Um, good to know, I guess. Uh, back on Route 101. Uh, Moria? Oh, hiya, Mark. I saw this really adorable Pokemon and I threw my Pokeball at her, but she ran away. She was so fast and now I'm looking for my Pokeball. It flew somewhere behind these bushes. Mark, you have longer arms than me. Can you help me, please? Or, please? Uh, sure. Oh, cool. You push your arm inside the bush, and, uh... Oh, Poochiana bites it off. Are you sure it's here? Oh, here it is. You found it. Thanks, Mark. Mark, have you seen Blitz? I ran into him a moment ago. His Tepeg was already level 11, and he caught a Pokemon already. I think he's kind of insane. I'm sure glad I didn't run into him. I know, my Squirtle didn't stand a chance. In any case, we ought to take this seriously. We need to start training our Pokies. Okay, Mark. Going on ahead. There's a Pokemon Gym in Callistern Town. That's where you should go if you want to get strong. Got it. Thanks again for helping me, Mark. See ya. Okay, I kind of already knew that. Can I get another one? Can I have one? Alright, so we're south is the town, but I want to go north for a certain reason. That reason being, there's actually a forest up here. There's also a trainer right here. You wanna fight? God damn it, dude. He ran into wild Pokemon every 30 seconds. We haven't been able to buy any repels either. That would, that would be one thing to make this game amazing if I could buy a rope. Actually, can we? I haven't been to the Pokemon in a while, so I don't remember, but 
If we could buy repels, that'd be great. What would you say? I twisted my ankle and I can't move. Oh, well, sucks to be you. So yeah, there's a forest right there. But I'm gonna go down here. I, I, I was going to go down there. So I think there's an item or a guide. Something's down here. Yeah, this. God dang it, can I literally take two steps without running into a freaking wild Pokemon, dude? This is not fun. I'm glad we're grass type. Can I go? You're level three. Like, this is just ridiculous. I got paralyzed for no fucking reason, dude. Wait, what? I guess I'll hide this somewhere for now. This here somewhere. I'll hide this here somewhere for now. Why is that even, what is he even saying? Now I gotta go all the way back because this stupid fucking, mm. It's freaking ridiculous, dude. I get paralyzed for no fucking reason. I gotta go all the way back. It's a level three tail I can't escape from, really? Level three? I don't give a fuck how fast you are. I'm five levels ahead of you. Should not fucking... Mm. Look at this, dude. I'm running into a wild Pokemon every two seconds. This is what ruins my Pokemon experience with mm, shit like this, dude. Any Pokemon game out there should just let you buy repels in the first fucking Pokemon. That would just make life so much easier. I shouldn't have to run into these freaking Pokemon if I have the money to deal with it. Ah, it's so annoying. It's not just this game, it's like mostly every Pokemon game. Yeah, I can't buy repels. What a fucking surprise. Any game that lets me buy repels early is one of the best games ever, dude. Just saying. That shit needs to happen. Alright. So we got a couple more Pokeballs. We don't really need potions, we have a good amount of them. Let's heal so we can get rid of that stupid fucking paralysis. Now to put our fastest mon out front. Alright, who's our fastest mon? Uh, 12, 13. 13. You're one more faster than Hawkeye, so I guess you're going out there. Alright. I don't know how the hell this thing is faster than Hawkeye. Hawkeye can literally fly. How are flying Pokemon not the fastest things in all of Pokemon? They can literally fucking fly. Pretty sure flying is faster than running. Look at, look at that, dude. Two steps. One, two. Two steps. That's it. Two steps and encounter. Two steps, encounter. It's not fun. It's annoying. Once I get repels, life will be so much easier. Ooh. Okay, we got through. Okay, so here's a forest up here. We can get another encounter. Shaw Monk Forest. It's an interesting name for a forest. Hello, trainer. My little Rattata went through those thick bushes, and now I'm waiting for it to come back. I'm afraid it got lost, but what else can I do but wait? Give moral support until Rattata returns to be Rattata in the meantime? Uh, sure. Hey, don't worry. Here, I'll wait for Rattata with you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks. Oh, shit. I got it. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm the Rattata. That's pretty dope. <laughs> Look at that. that mark territory? Uh, sure. <laughs> I just marked my tear. I, I peed all over that rock, dude. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, mark territory? I peed all over the rock. What was the point of that? So I gotta pee on all the rocks I see? Wild Pokemon will not attack you if you happen to be a Pokemon yourself. Okay, so I was worrying about that. That's why I was trying to avoid the grass. Okay. So I won't run into any wild Pokemon. Good. Can I have that potion down there? Is that a potion? I can't tell. Actually, I think that's an antidote or something. Oh, speaking of antidotes. Someone was buried here. Mark your territory on the grave. Being a Pokemon makes defiling graves a okay. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Why? <laughs> Who the fuck died there? Who buried a person or Pokemon all the way out here. Even though you know your actions are ultimately meaningless. Oh, this doesn't do anything? You mean me peeing on everything I see doesn't help? Does not progress 
the game any further? Oh man. Can I look at that dead body up there? Mark territory. <laughs> You're too nervous to focus on marking territory. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Fucking Ratatos simulator. I'm marking my. Okay, that's the exit. I know that's the exit. So let's not go that way. Let's go north, because I think there's an area we didn't explore yet. Can I move? Wait, this way. Have I been this way? Yeet, I have. Okay. Never mind. This was just the grave. Yeah. Alright, never mind. We've explored everything. We've marked our territory and everything that could have been marked. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. Nice little ratata simulator. Go through? Yes. Huh? Something's waiting or wadding through the bushes. Oh shit. It's my ratata, he came back. Oh, he brought something from the forest. Yeah, you can have it. Paralyzed seal and an antidote. Nice. Thanks for waiting with me. I want you to have this. Hey, a super potion. Sweet. Oh, thanks. See you around. Can I go back in? No? Okay. Okay, so that's a cut bush. Got it. Alright, can I get my encounter in here, though? Oh, what? Shit ton of cut bushes. Alright, so our encounter here is a fucking weedle. That's the first thing that I have encountered that I really don't want. Don't poison me. Okay. Alright, so it's just a weedle. Shouldn't be too hard to catch. Nice little bug flying type. Or actually, no, it's bug... Poison, right? Is it bug flying or bug poison? I think it's bug poison. Be nice to have a poison type on the team. Hairy bug. Alright. Well, most original name ever for a bee drill? Needles. Or, nah, actually, it's not the name of needles. Let's name him. Um, let's name him um, Mr. X. Because why not? Bugs use X scissor. He's a bug. Yeah, I found a repel. Nice. Good job, me. Alright, so looks like we need a uh, need cut to continue any further. I'm glad I got the uh, Weedle and not the Sentret. I'd much rather have Weedle than freaking Sentret. Jesus. Alright. So there we go, we got our encounter there. So we got all the encounters we can could have gotten. We got one in 101, Ice Cave, Upper Cave. This forest. We still haven't gotten one in Lower Cave. Let's go walk around the Lower Cave a little bit longer to see if we can get something. I've walked around the Lower Cave a lot, though, and we haven't been able to get anything. So I don't know if we can't even get an encounter here. But let's just, uh... Because we got one in Upper Cave and Ice Cave down below. But I don't think it's possible to get an encounter here in Lower Cave. Yeah, see. If we would have gotten an encounter, it would have happened already. So... I don't think it's even possible to get one there, so we're just gonna go ahead and move on. Move on south, that should get us to the next town. Hold on. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. I wanna explore as much as possible. Do you have anything else for me to do? No, just saying your bushes are alive, and you're welcome. Alright. But I like these little side quests that we get to do. Make make going through like the routes more interesting than you know, just walking through a route, fighting people, you know. Instead, we can help old man kick Pidgey's asses, and we can wait with a girl while we pee on things as a Redita. You know, the, the fun things in life. Alright, so we gotta go down this way, and that leads us to Callistern Town, which is home to our first gym battle, which should be interesting. I can see an item glistening at the bottom of this pot, but I can't reach it. If only I had a hammer to break the pot. Hmm. My name is Giro. I can see this is your first time buying items at Pokizar. It's a combination of words, Pokemon and Bazaar. That's neat, uh, but why should I buy stuff here and not in Pokemarts? Ho ho, excellent question. Our stuff is cheaper and we do business out here in the open. No need to go in and out of a building. Who has time for that? Here, we get out free samples to all, of all of our stuff to first buyers. Hey, nice, good shit. Is it cheaper? How much cheaper? A Pokizar potion. Wait, what? Heals 15 
to 20%, so it's random. That's interesting, it's 100 cheaper. I actually really like that, that idea. You, you have the option of buying it at a cheaper price, but it's like a random health. You can get the full 20 or you can get as low as 15 it seems. Hmm. It's very interesting. Look around this town real quick. That just leads back on the one doing going that way. Let's heal first and foremost. I also need to save. I haven't saved since we started. Wait, what? I missed the Poke Nose. I have some pictures of her though. Jesus. <laughs> this man's fucking taking pictures of nurses and shit. Uh, do you have my nails? Oh, it's not you. Hey, you. Can you give me some nails? I bought many hammers and not many nails. Now I'm running out of nails. Can you give me some nails? Where the hell am I getting nails from? Is there, an, is there a Home Depot somewhere I can go grab some nails? Well, I guess we gotta find this guy some nails. He said he has a lot of hammers. I wonder if he, he gives us a hammer after we get him the nails. Then we can use that hammer to break those pots. I'm gonna save again in case something happens. Crashes. It's always good to wait. What? I talked to the guy in the house behind the pokey heel, but I'm too lazy to get him those nails. Oh, okay. So that was the guy who was originally supposed to get him the nails. Now it seems like it's my job to get him the nails. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna get nails from. This place sell nails? Do you sell nails here? You don't. What a waste. What a waste of time. Why don't you sell nails? Okay. Sure. Hey, a, oh, it's not an old rod, it's a basic rod. Dude, I love this game, dude. So far, I'm loving this game. So many subtle changes actually improve my... Oh, it's a hard scale. Improve my playing experience. Okay, what'd you say? I'm gonna catch a water Pokemon. That way I can be able to defeat Rita. So it seems that the gym leader, whose I'm guessing name is Rita, weak to water, so that could be fire, ground, rock, any of that. What does this lead? What is this cave called? Callistern Cave. So we can get an encounter here in Callistern Cave. Maybe. Possibly. Never mind. Never mind. Just leaves the other side. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You sell nails? I think that is a no. What is this place? Tournament Arena. Trainers came here to train their Pokemon. Got it. Hey, I got a nail. Hey, I got a cherry berry. Nice. All right. So we got the nail. Does he only want? Does he only need one, or does he need more than one? Oh, I'm gonna finish talking. So we'll leave the tournament area and the gym for last. I'm gonna look at everything else first. I would love to know exactly what type the gym is. If it's a fire gym, then we can maybe... What the hell? Do you have a nail? What? Hey, a Pecha Berry. Well, good thing I've been talking to most of the trash cans. I haven't talked to all of them. Usually they don't. Can, usually people don't put stuff in trash cans inside homes, but this game apparently does. So that's cool. They didn't allow little girls to run gyms back in my day. Dual type gyms. Excuse me? Alright, well, that's good to know. Dual type gyms. Alright then. Oh, we got a nail. So let's go see if this guy's okay with having just one nail. I also didn't check the trash can in here. I want to see if this had anything. Nope. Alright. Let's 
Go uh, see if he wants this one nail we have. Do you want this one nail? Oh, it's great. But you have some nails, but I need at least three nails. Okay, he needs three. We have one. Good to know. Where am I going to get the other two from? I've talked to everybody in this town, I'm pretty sure. Actually, hold on. We can get an encounter here in the town, but we have to fish for it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and fish for our encounter in the town. I've already checked everything out, so it's not like there's anywhere else to look for one. So let's get our encounter in Callister in town. Please don't be a magic carp. I want something I can use now and not later, preferably. Because she, this little girl says water is good against the gym. So I prefer something I can use now, please? Fuck. I mean, Gyarados would be good for later on. But for right now, I, I would have loved something else, like a Poliwag. Something that could attack. You know, I'll take a Magikarp, though. Because again, Gyarados... Not not the worst Pokemon in the world to have. It's gonna be a pain in the ass training this thing though. Let's go ahead and catch him with a Pokeball. So this can be our encounter for the town. Nice. And I already have the nickname for this thing. I nickname all of my Magikarps this because you know. Why not? His nickname is going to be Dumb. I've always named my Magikarp as Dumb. Even the first one I ever caught when I was a kid, I named Dumb because I was like, this is a dumbass Pokemon. I'm going to name you Dumb. That was before I figured out that Magikarp evolved in Gyarados, though. But, you know, memories, right? Where am I going to find two more nails, though, dude? I need to get two more nails. I'm not even sure if I can get them in this town or not. Does this truck have a nail? Oh, oh that's a nice commentary. One of those pesky trucks that always blocks the way. Do you have a nail for me? No. Let's go look in the cave, see if there might be a hidden item in there, like a hidden nail item. Maybe in the arena. Might be a nail in the arena. Maybe on these pieces of wood. Right, Todd, do you have a nail for me? Alright. Uh, I kind of want to go into this gym and kind of see exactly what typing the Pokemon are going to be. Let's save real quick. I'm not going to take it on, just want to see the type. Okay, you. The gym specializes in normal and rock Pokemon. Fighting Pokemon with Devastator, but if you have water or grass Pokemon, that's also good. Okay, normal and rock. That is good. Um, our, our buddy here is weak to rock. Hawkeye is weak to rock, but if Buddy can learn a ground type attack, that would be amazing. He, have, he already has double kick, which is good enough, but if he can learn a ground attack, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this here. Next time, we're going to take on this training area and maybe take on the gym. I don't know if we're ready for the gym, but at least take on this training area. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connors. I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Empyrean Nuzlocke. Thanks for watching again, and uh, yeah, peace out.